When I stand here and I look back at where the sun is coming up and I look at the garden, it's just very, very peaceful here in the morning. It's around 6.30 in the morning, 6.30, I'm heading to 7 o'clock, yes, a.m. Now, this is what I want to show you. Isn't this beautiful? My grapevine. Yeah, I don't have the roses, but I have the grapevine. And I am going to have some grapes developing. This is the first time that this has happened. So, you know, in life, sometimes some things um, are removed. You, you're you going to miss them because I had two roses, climbing roses, climbing up the deck. My Eden climbing rose and also my West Westerland rose. Um, but both of them died back. They're growing, but they're not as prominent as they were uh, last year, which oh, was so beautiful. But this year, I have the joy of the grapevine. And because it has no competition, it's just spreading. Look at that. And I actually have grapes developing. Do you see that? Wow, cluster of grapes. Yeah. And there are a few of them there too. Wow. Ah, I'm so excited about this. The little things that make us happy. You gotta find your joy. You gotta find your joy. And I think I found some this morning. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. That's just the attitude that you have to have um, in this year. And you can see that um, things are growing. Things are growing. Now, I want to show you this. In these containers, I have planted my basil and cilantro. I really love basil. And every year, I've um, well, the last couple of years when I purchased these containers, they were filled with um, pansies at the time. But then I saved the container because they are really great for planting the basil. And I got the seeds from the Dollar Tree. And uh, they are just wonderful. It's going to grow in and fill out. And I'm very excited about that. And I also have here my um, herb bowl, which is just getting more and more um, full and lush, and I have been definitely using it. And uh, the annual bowl here, and then these carnations, which are looking so good in this area. I'm very happy about this <laughs> and I am wrapping up my um, 
cleaning up the deck and wrapping up my seed starting trays here. I still have a few things. Um, I have cucumbers, a cucumber, um, kale, curly kale there. The lupin, I started again with the lupin. And I'm hoping that they will just grow and I'm going to just let them grow in the tray and then transplant them into the garden. I have here watermelon yeah. and then in this tray I have cantaloupe and watermelon. So I'm waiting for the watermelon seeds to come up. And, and then in this I have dinosaur kale. Yeah, I found my dinosaur kale seeds that I thought I had um, lost, but I just misplaced them. And so this is the last of the seed trays. I'm going to clean this up and clear up the deck. And I have to say that this greenhouse has been fantastic. I've enjoyed using it to start my seedlings for the months of March, April, and May. Yeah, I think I did uh, put it together in March, late March into April and May. And uh, it has been just very, very productive. Uh, it's made this these springtime uh, months very exciting to see all of this growth. Yeah, so soon this whole corner will be free of stuff. <laughs> And we'll have a full look at the deck. Um, we'll paint it and update it, but for right now, it's looking good. I would say by July 1st, for the 4th of July, that the deck will have a definite, a clear, beautiful, fresh look. But for right now, I just love it. And uh, I have already started to to create different bouquets. And this is just looking so good. Look at this. It is made up of dead nettle or lamiatris, I think it's called. Um, I have apple mint and uh, the flowers from the spirea. I have... Um, the seed heads of the Purple Sensation Allium and a few of uh, branches from my um, variegated euonymus. And then this container, this vase is from my aunt. Um, and I was given it, allowed to have it. Um, and it's in memory of my aunt Tanti. Anytime I use it, I remember her. She was a gardener and she loved flowers. She loved growing plants, especially house plants too. So uh, this is just a beautiful arrangement that I'm enjoying from my kitchen window. Uh, I can see it from the kitchen window and it just makes me smile. I have been busy rearranging the deck and getting my pots together and I love this arrangement right now with uh, these different levels of planting it's it's just a beautiful thing here I have to say that things are just coming along nicely it's just beautiful to see things growing and actually gaining some height uh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. My husband uh, just cut the grass on um, yesterday. Yes, he cut the grass. So everything's looking so fresh and tidy. He uh, dug up the edges of different parts and it's just clean, looking very, very clean. My rose bush has given me a couple of roses here. I am just so pleased to see at least one of my 
um, hydrangea flowers blooming um, in the past this would be filled with flowers but this year because of that cold snap uh, it killed many of the blooms and buds and this one survived just to remind me of the beauty of the hydrangea I think I see another one developing over here. But I'm just enjoying this. It just makes you have a, or makes me have a sense of thanksgiving, you know, to be grateful for what you do have. And that's the attitude that I want to have concerning my flowers in my garden and just to start to appreciate everything just appreciate the fact that I have a garden and just be thankful and here over here you can see my knockout rose bush at least I have one bush left back that survived that cold snap that um, is looking fantastic and it has roses so I'm, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. That's just the attitude that you have to have um, in this year because so many things are happening. I mean, life is just changing and the way we know it is, has changed greatly through all of the experiences that we've had in the last couple of years. So you gotta find your joy, yeah. Find those things that make you happy and indulge in it. Spend some time meditating on the good stuff. Yeah, so I love this geranium. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, it's really standing out uh, here in this uh, new season of summer. Looking really nice. I am satisfied with how this bed is turning out over here. Um, it is um, starting to fill out. The annuals are noticeable. And I'm, I'm happy that my husband lined this with white impatiens and petunias. The white and red, um, it looks uh, patriotic in a way too, but it also looks um, lively uh, against the green backdrop. And uh, also with the variegated, the variegated hostas in the variegated grass. Now look at this. My lilies are so tall. This is um, my Casablanca lilies, and we will see them in July. They will start to bloom, so that's something definitely to look forward to. And over here, I call my food forest, where I have uh, my um, different um, fruit trees. My Asian pear tree has different fruit on it. Isn't this cute? They're small and the branch isn't that strong. So I don't know how they'll turn out, but it's nice to see the fruit developing here on this. And then in this one, I have the pear. It's supposed to be the Bartle pear tree. And um, there are just a few fruit on this one as well. But what is exciting? is my apple tree. Yes, the apple tree. That I can see apples developing on the apple tree. And it is a multi-grafted tree. It has different um, apples. I think 
This branch is the Red Macintosh branch. Now, if the squirrels don't get them, um, I may end up having some apples. I'm going to have to figure out how to protect the apples from the squirrels. And that can be challenging. The view of the garden from this vantage point is so nice. You can look straight up uh, and follow that pathway. It's, it's just really nice. Um, and I just do enjoy walking my garden in the morning and just taking a look at what is here and how it's developing. It's definitely growing out and looking good. For more videos, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.